four eggs and a sausage. Ooh, ah. That'll put me on for the rest of the day, this now. Four eggs will be smashed up, doesn't it? Yeah. Quick putty stop this morning. GMC calf. Top cafe in Huddersfield, that. Damn well with a thumbs up. Ready to get it. Let's go. So, today, starting a new project on Lidgate, Huddersfield. And it's a nice, beautiful house. I love this house. Full of cough for Bonacouche. And a new thing called system going on. Let me show you. Morning. Morning. So we're going to be taking off this wall here, taking that off, all the front of the house off, all the back, all the cable side off, all the back of it off. Um, we're going to start today on the front, we're going to start from the bottom and start nipping away. Luckily, just had a little look at it, and it looks like it's kind of tight, tight mono, straight onto um, stone, onto brick, sorry not stone, that's what it looks like. So if it's straight mono onto like brick, it should just pop off shell away. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, like I say, unless they have base coated it, it'll be strong. But I, I can't see it on that post. Can you? No. It don't look like it, does it? It looks tight. Super tight. So we're going to pray that that is the case. Because if that is the case, we'll have this off in no time. And it won't lose. It won't use um, as many skips as I've, yeah. I've put in. So that's a good thing. So yeah, we've got the little hilly out. The little 300. We've also got the 500 that they will be using, not me. I ain't got big enough shoulders, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so, yeah. Come on, let's have a look. Still rolling. Climbing up. Come on, my lad. Proper action cameraman here. So, yeah, all this is coming off. I'm going to sheet up the windows with Corex before we start taking off around there. But I'm just going to get started and I'm going to have to get some tape because I've got no tape. We've got Corex, haven't we? Yeah. So, yeah. Obviously, the cast iron pipe's going to stay. These lights and stuff like that are coming off, but they, we can reattach them, burying the wires for them as well. So, we're going to be doing that. Stuff like this here. Yeah, it looks like it's in net aerial. Um, that's going to get buried too, so we can bury that. This is the biggest elevation on the job. Um, Again, we'll, what we're going to do on here, what I've decided we're going to do on here is because it goes over towards there, we're probably going to break it up because this is only me and V. What we're going to do, I think I'm going to break it up. So I'm going to spray from the top all the way down. We've got the chimneys to do and everything like that. We're going to spray this one all the way down and then we'll put on this side here and from there, coming down here to the door, I'm going to put a bead so then we've only got to do this side then separate, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that looks nice. You won't be able to tell if it's going to be thin coat, but it just gives me two levels to work to, do you know what I mean? Instead of trying to do all that as well. But we'll see, see how I feel when we get it off. If it is nice, uh, if it is a nice background. Um, and not some mad suction, because usually on old stone it sucks in like mad, and that's what you know, you can lose a rub get there. Cut out. Yeah, you get caught out with a rub and you don't want to be rubbing up hard stuff. You know what I mean? So that's that. And then around back, which is going to be the most the hardest part is around here, I'd say. Um, but to be fair, that's a good size conny, that. It's not a bad size conservatory, that. These will all get buried, all these wires. These are just general power wires for lights and stuff and alarms. So they can all get buried once we've took it off. But the cable it sends not that big. Um, I think we're gonna have to set some up over here. But again, these are the these are the start. Actually, I'll tell you the truth, I could probably reach quite a bit of that. I didn't see from the other side, but just the middle, middle bit there, which I can see they probably look like they had a bit of an hard time yeah. getting it too. <laughs> We've got a big old miss above conservatory there, but they haven't scratched. So that uh, looks like they were struggling, that's the point there. But I'll be hanging down from that one, and I'll reach over from this one, and we'll get this. But this gable sound comes from here. Up to there, it's not a bad one. This, it's not a bad cable at all. But it's probably the most difficult. Yeah. Then obviously we've got the conservatory down there, which again, low level, nice stuff to do. 
So yeah, I'm I'm proper buzzing to proper buzzing to do this one. Like I've, I've had this booked in for a bit, and you know what? I've, I just it's proper beautiful house in it. Yeah, I love it. Get it mate. smashed off. Yeah, I love it, mate. It's in a nice area, a nice street, quiet street. I just think, yeah, it's gonna be a good job. I'm gonna make it look absolutely banging. So, oh, it's a proper car. Wait to do this one. So yeah, you can tell the yak off going well. I'm covered in it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's coming off now. Um, front's all done. Started on the gable end now. So I've got down three days to take it off. Uh, quarter past two. We'll have this on top part of the gable off. Or one side of the gable off. And then tomorrow we'll have the full gable off. We'll be on schedule. The gable end's coming off easier than the front. So yeah, anyway. This is what it looks like when you're taking off on a cool covered in it. So yeah, get to it, get it acted off. Why are you what? Why are you put? Why are you tying uh, old oh, pipe routes, guy? Shut up, mate. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Look. I don't know. I'm just setting up, Anna. I'm adding up today. I've been in heat, Anna. Oh, are you, you bothered? Hot and bothered. Yeah, hot and bothered, mate. And I've been doing hot grass. <laughs> <laughs> I see it on my face, guy. I see it on my face. Nah, that's just life, man. Life's got you like that, ain't it? Yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> you know what you look like? You're like Marvel for Malone. <laughs> Alone. Nah. Yeah, you know what it's like, hacking off. Oh, God. Cut, cut forehead on me. That's how you know you've got a big forehead, in it? Because look at it, it's just all sat on top of it. <laughs> that's, how, that's how my hair should have been, I think. My hair should be down here. Big old napper that in it, look at it. Oh mate, that's just showing like where my forehead should should my hairline should go to. Wow. I am going bald. It's, my forehead's been big forever. I'm not going bald like you, mate. You just will like try to wrap up the biggest snake in the world. Hmm. You're not used to that pal. Nah, you ain't never got that, mate. So that's what you do, you meant to release hot water. And then it goes, no. then it goes small again. Mate, don't try to show me up in front of everyone. Yeah. In front of everyone. <laughs> it's gonna be in it. <laughs> See how much difference that makes. That's what she said. That's what she said. God. I don't know where. I don't know where I got him from. Where I got him from, but you know, he's uh, he's a good lad. So yeah, we've done some work today, boy. Got all the down pipes off at the front. All you had to dodge loads of wires, loads of buried wires on there. So you had to dodge loads of them. We took all the plinth off. We took all the um, the render off at the front. We had to protect the windows, brand new windows in. Took the beads off. Uh, gable end is going to sheet off so instead of just starting to do that it's better with two of you one of you can pull and one of you can get behind it with breaker and that means we'll just pull that off together quicker so we'll smash that gable tomorrow um, swept everything up cleaned everything up give all the street a, a swirl down where it should be took the fence post off we're going to get right behind it not leave that so we're going to get right behind that fence post the only other one we won't be able to take off is that one because obviously it's used for uh, this access and security, so we need to leave that one on. We'll go around that one. But this side, we took off. Um, sign number, the numbers come off. Doors protected. Yeah, mint. Go back at it. I'm going to get this gable off now. Um, quiet street, innit? Yeah, proper. I feel like I'll be dead quiet. <laughs> well, it's about to wake up in a minute. <laughs> so yeah, we're, um, we're gonna start getting this gable whacked off, aren't we now? Um, Tuesday morning. We're at it. Got 
Okay, guess I'll be getting blamed for that. Well, you know, have you been in my jaw? Mm hmm. You want? Not lately, no. You're alright then. Do you know this bit? Do you know how much this bit costs? That one bit for chisel. About 40 quid. 40 quid? I wish it were 40 quid. Have another guess how much that one bit costs for Millie. Guess. It's not a lifetime it, guarantee right. though, if it snaps, I can swap it. So it's going to be ridiculous then, isn't it? Like um, 100 quid? More. What? More than 100 quid for that. More than 100 quid? Not more than 200 though. 199. 180 quid. 180 quid? Yeah, 180 quid including that. It's good though. It's good for taking off um, tiles. Uh, Flooring tiles. Oh, them like ones that stick to your floor and yeah, shit like that. For stuff like that, mate. It's good for taking that off. It's good for skimming off top layer of um, plaster, stuff like that. You know, if you don't want to damage the whole wall, mm. it's good for that. But yeah, it's a lifetime guarantee. I actually snapped one of them. Well, I didn't snap it. One of them snapped it. I don't know how he snapped it. It's a thick piece of steel, but he snapped it and um, took it back and just gave me another one. Custy. That's why he is good. Yeah. They let you swap stuff, you know what I mean? So like I've snapped, like I've had chisels, like proper big breaker chisels snap and just take them back and they just go. There you go, Mr. Cook. Here's another. <laughs> That's it. So, like, cheers, guys. I don't know how lads are snapping chisels though, do you know what I mean? Like, go back last week. Take some doing. Yeah, it takes some graft. Little nipper. Little nipper. We call it a little nipper. But she ain't nothing little about her. Still a big break of that. What do you like best? Yeah, I like Milwaukee, me. Milwaukee? Yeah, he's good stuff, you know. Our and our buildings use it and I love him. Yeah. Mm. Just stop guarding if you want. <laughs> yes, D. How's Akoff going, Mucker? It's going well. We've got. Halfway across now, coming off in big sheets. So another couple of hours and it should be done. What we reckon we'll get rest at Gable off in the next couple of hours? Yeah, easy. Easy, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. yeah man, let's get into it. Demo! <laughs> Think we're gonna have enough in skip then? Got Rick Gable end as well. I think we have. I think we've absolutely boxed it off. You've got to remember, that's a massive gable we just took off. I reckon it'll take that, me. I hope so. That's a tiny little wall, though, isn't it? Let's note that. So. Yeah. It'd be, it should do it, shouldn't we? Gosh, D. Wednesday morning and third day on the hack off so today i'm determined just to get this smashed so i've got the back gable to go and i've got a little section uh, at the bottom just to do i'm just gonna get stuck into it today i've got my headphones with me fully charged up i'm just gonna get stuck straight in demo's gonna crack on with some bottoms get that done and uh like i say get this right over the line where it's just a fresh canvas today Hopefully get the skip filled up as well. Then I can get that taken away. So yeah, buzzing. Gonna get stuck in. But first of all, butty time. Then yeah, a butty today. I'm gonna try and have just one sandwich today, right? And work all the way through. I never really do that. I usually eat more and more thingy often throughout the day, but I'm just gonna try and smash it today. But anyway, let's get to it. <laughs> what have you done there? Bit of a leak. They want on it, it's better than rambling. Oh. 
stops me. <laughs> <laughs> and the day, for the day, yeah, having a bit of a clean down. Don't worry about this getting sprayed down. We put a catcher down in the gutter. Like, catching all this rubber and that's the water through. Don't know what a catcher is. <laughs> Basically, just a bit of Corex pushed in with some holes in it. <laughs> So yeah, oh god, look at my face. <laughs> look at my face. <laughs> oh man. So what it is, uh, Damo's going to take the last 10% off. I'm going to start doing uh, beading up and um, a bit of tape going on as well. So that's going to be Friday here. Tomorrow we've got a little garage to do. So I'm going to um, record that and yeah, you'll get to see us putting on there. Basically it's just OCR and some mesh on that. Um, that's it. Is that everything? Absolutely. Shut this door, shut this gate, and put bolt on for a mate. Yeah. So tomorrow we've just got a OCR a garage and put some mesh on it. So that's what we'll be doing. I bet you're laughing at my face, can't you? I look proper like a ghost. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up and get in my car and get off. So Thursday morning. Nice job. A little extension to do. Demo's getting his beading on. Soaking it already. <laughs> so that's a little one to do. Um, front and back. We're meant to do gable as well, but it's a little bit too tight, so we're going to sort out getting better access downside to it. I'm going to spin this round and show you. That's the gable there. Stick bush needs to go lower, so we can um, at least get a a step ladder over it if not we'll get a lift in at that level all the way across but yeah nice job i'm balling it demo's i'm balling it i'm gonna rule it up um i'm gonna rule it up mesh it and rub it but demo's i'm balling it because if we got his handboard and i'm not just putting it all on what's that because you forgot your handboard Exactly. <laughs> what I'm telling everyone that for? Because he's forgot one of the main things that you meant to have when you do plastering or rendering. An handboard and a trowel is the two things minimum. And he hasn't brought an handboard, so unlucky for some, eh? I'm going to do the ruling. I'm going to do some meshing. Uh, lovely jubbly. Took all lights off. Um, all lights are off. I've got a belt on that one there. Um, because far were clever didn't need to do it and yeah i got a belt so power's off now sound it's just got that reveal to do on windows and that re that back's ready to go and the front's just a couple of beads around the garage door and that'll be ready to go so how, how is it d you enjoying it the sun it's warm mate i'm soaking mate. it's like i've been in a water fight <laughs> next layer going on life's good man it's another tight coat over this. Oh, because it pulled in too quick for me to rub it. Pulled in too quick for me to push it through. Oh, God, my eyes. So, yeah. Pulled in too quick for me to rub it. Rub it through on all of it. So, it's just going to tight coat that right hand side. So, I can pull it through. Rub it up properly. And that's it. On to the front. So that back wall the sun has absolutely cooked it i've got all of it done all rubbed up all finished literally the top right corner just couldn't get it when i got to it wet my sponge put it on it just basically just ripped the top layer off so you know what i've got another wall to the right hand side to do um and this gable end so i'm just gonna put a skin on it when i get to it but the front we're gonna make sure that this is done and finished today so today you know, very hard day one of the hottest days would you say demo yeah to what so what hottest day i've worked in i think i thought i thought i'd get that back end on and we did get it on demo hammered it on like a machine hammered it all on i ruled it all off got it all flat diamond floated it I couldn't leave it diamond floor because it was getting painted, so I needed to sponge it. As I've gone back to sponge it, the back of just the sun just cooked it. And it was literally just taking 
it would dry and no matter how much I wet the sponge it was taking my gear off of the mesh that I'd put on so it was gonna look it would have, I could have got it right but it took me so long and it just would have been pointless go back to the gable end so I don't mind just putting a skim over that when we do it gable end um, front front bit at garage that looks sound bit more bang that on we took the point off put it back on that's all ready for them to put the car in so yeah other than that yeah, it will sound. Um, I don't know how these things go in, mate. That's it, pushed it. So yeah, other than that, sound. Um, gears here. We <coughs> don't need no else for set, ready to go. Good customers, happy. Let's have a little chill out, and then tomorrow's Friday, and we're gonna take it easy. <laughs> easy Friday, a bit of hacking off, and we're off to the pub for a pint. Yeah. Sweet as. <laughs>